Well, text me when you get home. Good morning. It's Monday. I'm. It's it's Monday afternoon at this point. So good afternoon, I suppose. But you know, depending on what time you're watching this, I always say good morning because I assume you're watching it in the morning. Because you know, that's just the way. I, that's what I've always assumed. I you you could be watching this at night. You can watch it whenever you want. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. How you doing? That's really the question. Today I've got to do a little bit of research. Actually, all of April. We're not in April yet, but I imagine. As I vlog into April, as we kick things off, uh, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of, uh, yeah, research on the ground, looking around, digging. Assuming that we don't go into like a more strict lockdown, at this point, it doesn't feel like we will, but there are a lot of rumors that maybe we will, maybe we won't. Uh, our caseload is really high. Uh, hospitals are definitely struggling right now. So it, it, make, it would make a lot of sense if we went into a lockdown. I just don't know what's gonna happen. So I'm kind of planning based on things continuing the way that they are right now, I guess, more or less, and some level of freedom to be able to move around the city. So I have some like little things that I'm gonna be looking up. I, I can't tell you exactly what I'm researching or why, because I don't wanna spoil the surprise. However, that doesn't mean you can't benefit from it as I go around the city and, uh, you know, investigate particular locations over the course of the next month. It just means we're going to be wandering around the city that much more together, which should be fine. Everybody's going to love that. So today, one of the things I wanted to go check out, because I haven't even seen it yet, is they finished the, not the park, but there's like an observation, I think an observation level at Bastille, where you can look down into the canal from the drawings that I'd seen before, at least, that seems to make some sense. I don't know what it looks like yet, so I want to go check that out. And, uh, and while we're over there, maybe get a little bit of coffee from Back in Black. And, uh, and then the last thing I need to do today is get Kate some of her bags back. She was using the office uh, when her apartment flooded a couple weeks ago, a couple months ago, and she left some duffel bags there uh, that have just been sitting there the whole time. She's coming to get those today, so I gotta make sure I meet her down there. And otherwise, just go enjoy a little bit of the sunshine here while we've got the sunshine to enjoy. And uh, yeah, this morning was all meetings, you know, nothing particularly video fun worthy wise, video fun wise. I can't, I don't know, I just can't speak. Let's just, let's hop on the bike and go get some sun and maybe a little more coffee will do us some good. It is so cold down here. So, I just got this back really quickly. They made a repair. The shifter was being screwy. I'm afraid it's being screwy again already. And <laughs> anyways, uh, a little bit of coffee. I'm gonna go, let's go check out what's going on in Bastille because I'm really curious to see what the finished product looks like. Salut. Oh, Oui. Ah oui, vraiment Bon donc, je le laisse pour quelqu'un... Euh... Non, non, bah... Euh... Bah, il faut que quelqu'un l'achète, quoi. On le laisse là, donc... Euh... Ouais, c'est bien. C'est le... Ouais. Disappointed to see that this barrier is back up. Very curious about what's going on in here. Whoop. But that's not what I'm here to look at. What I'm here to look at is on the exact opposite side. So swing around 
check that out right now. Basically, when they redid the square here, they turned it into this bigger, they removed the roundabout pretty much and turned it into a, a big cement park, which I saw the drawings, they couldn't do much green here because there are like so many metro lines, utilities, there's a ton of stuff just immediately underground here. So they couldn't put any trees here safely, but they apparently dug out a hole on the other side that like goes down. I don't know exactly how, but goes down to the canal because the canal runs under here as well. So that's what I'm really interested to see is how that turned out. Whoa, cool. Whoa, you can go all the way down. All right, let me lock up this problem child and, uh, and we're gonna investigate this. All right, locked, cold brewed. Let's go for a little bit of a walk here because I'm super curious about this situation. Basically, Metro Line 1 runs right here, which we're gonna see in a second. And this area, you just kind of, you just was a, I guess a sidewalk before where you could walk around the metro, but you know, that was about it. And now they've turned it into like a spot where you can actually hang out. Look at this. So you can walk down to the canal. For those of you that didn't know that the canal ran underneath this area. And for those of you that didn't know that there was a canal running through Paris, Napoleon III dug that one out. But look at this, you can actually see, this is so cool. So canal water, obviously. And then right under here, that goes out towards the Seine. This is line one running right there, which would be really cool if you could actually see through this way, but maybe it's prettier this way. I don't know. Maybe it's better like this. And then down there, it takes you to where you're, I mean, you used to be able to walk down here. It's where one of the, but let's go check it out. If you watched the new Mission Impossible movie, this is where they collected Tom Cruise when he dropped through the hole way up there. It's really cool. And then back here is the river. It's The river's all the way down there. And you can hear line one going over. Magical, absolutely magical. This is great. This is, what an improvement this is. And connecting it to the canal like this so you don't have to walk all the way around. Chef's kiss. Metro. Canal. Freaking magical. If only I'd timed it for a boat to come out, that would have been perfect. This area is known as Arsenal or uh, this is the Port de l'Arsenal or the Port of Arsenal because the Arsenal used to be held here. So Bastille, little history lesson. The prison was originally a fortress on the edge of the city. It got turned into a prison, but they still contained, kept all the munitions here. So the cannons were over at Les Invalides and the munitions were here. And so when the French Revolution started, this is where they came to get their gunpowder and famously blew up, <laughs> just tore the whole place down. And it ended up being, I think also the host to the guillotine for a little while, fittingly. But the name Arsenal still exists here, so this section of the canal is called Arsenal, and it's just one section of Canal Saint-Martin that runs all the way up, or the Canal of Saint-Martin. That's pretty cool. And if you ever get to take one of these boat rides on the canal, it's a very slow, lazy way to see a little bit more of the city than you normally would, and I recommend it. Not gonna see very many like big monuments, but it's, an, it's a unique experience. I really enjoyed it. Anyway, that's really cool. I'm really happy to see that this came together. I've been very excited ever since they announced this. I think it was almost two years ago. It's a good change, definitely a good change. One other little bit of trivia. You'll notice that it says July of 1830. That is not when the most famous French Revolution happened. So this monument right here in the middle is actually for a later revolution and has nothing to do with the Bastille itself. Fun yet somewhat confusing fact. You can also find in the metro, and I don't know if they have it up here or not, but you can find lines where the foundations of the Bastille used to be, the fortress. So when you're walking around, they've got like these little plates here in the ground that indicate different things like years, some other historical fun things. But I don't know if they've got any, they should have markers. They do have markers over in the street. I'll show you those ones. I don't know if they have any markers up here, but they'll show you where the fortress used to be. It's also only like 62 degrees or something out here, maybe 65, and it feels like I'm roasting. Welcome to spring. Love it. I'm not 100% sure that that's what these ones are above ground, but they've got something similar on, I think, line five in the metro. 
For today, we're gonna pretend that that's exactly what these are. I was looking for a plaque that would explain it, but you know, we're using our imaginations either way, so might as well imagine it's right here. What is the bell? It's part of our Easter collection. We also have a hen. Oh. I feel like I'm a sponsor for that, but I'm not. <laughs> is, it, is, it, is, it, is it savory or sweet? So it's a brioche, and then oh. it's uh, filled with chocolate on the inside. It's really nice because it's not too sweet. Okay, this is exactly what I want, actually. You know what we're not, are you? Yeah. We'll cut that out. Nope, it's going to my vlog. Mmm. You're right, it's not that sweet. I like it because mm. I'm not a big, like for me, I don't like a, after a meal or a snack, I don't want something super sweet. This is exactly what I was, I needed this. It's, it's waking me back up. Moved in for two weeks. This is, these are, have fun riding on your bike with this. <laughs> That's what I got Remy here for. <laughs> Put him to work. Well, text me when you get home. <laughs> With, it, it's city life. If you, still, you if, if you still have hands. <laughs> hey, at least I'm not listening to my music this time. <laughs> That's fair. It was good to finally meet Kate's boo and good to give her those bags back. Those have been there for a long time. The bike seems to be holding up okay, which is, you know, a positive, but um, still minor issues. Wish I had a better report. <laughs> I just got it back yesterday. I, uh, that's kind of a cool car. Watch this guy as he goes by. I don't know what that is. It's good to be back. And I kind of like the idea of exploring the city a little bit with you in a different way again. For those of you that are waiting for the 80 and 8 to come back, it will eventually. The, uh, I'm still waiting for us to like actually open up again. Museums, cultural centers, restaurants, all that kind of stuff. <sighs> well, at least exterior eating. You know, we don't have to go inside any restaurants, but I want to be able to, you know, explore the quarters of the city. And I really want to go back to it because there's just so much to discover. There's so much that I actually want to fit into what I'm trying to uh, accomplish. And uh, so yeah, I'm going to do the best I can with the outdoor stuff. You can tag along for that. It'll be grand, but that's kind of how I'm going to approach April. Even though we're not quite in April yet, that's how I'm going to go about it. Hope you enjoy it. I think I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm also going to try and make a little bit shorter videos because I, I got into the habit of making really long ones. I have no idea how long today's is, but now I'm in the habit of making like really long ones all the time. And uh, I know I've asked for your feedback on that. Feel free to give feedback again as you wish. Uh, but the 10 to 15 minute range is what I think I'm going to be aiming for this month. We'll see how I do on that. But it also helps obviously with then getting a little bit more of the other work done in the process of not making as long of a video. And that's kind of the update for today. That's, uh, that's what I'm thinking. I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna finish my run here. Uh, I got another long run planned for tomorrow morning and I think I'm gonna actually end up over 90 miles this month, which means that I've built a little bit of a buffer for one of those months where maybe I don't run as much, but I'm on track to hit a thousand miles in 2021. That's insane. If you had told me that I was gonna do that this year, last year, I wouldn't have believed you. Even as I ramped back up last year, never would have believed you. Stay safe, stay warm. Thanks to Lynn H, today's patron producer, for sending me out here to enjoy a little bit of run. I hope you enjoy a little bit of this evening footage now that we've got a later sunset. And I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning for, you know, more of this goodness. So much goodness to be had. See you tomorrow.